and welcome to This Is Private Practice for Thursday the 12th of October 2017. I am really tired today. Look at these bags under these eyes. They are incredible pieces of luggage. I've just noticed as the day goes on, they're getting a little puffier and a little sleepier and I just want to yeah, fall asleep. I uh, haven't slept very well for the last couple of nights, so that is probably why. And why am I not sleeping very well? Well, um, sleep and I, we don't always get on. And that's not because of all the coffee I drink. I don't sleep very well and I'm not drinking coffee either. Um, it, it's just some heightened stress around a couple of things that have been going on in the business this week. And... My husband has been getting up really early to go and do some morning speaking gigs and knowing that there is an alarm that's going to go off at some time for some reason stops me from sleeping. Same as our super, super noisy garage. So I now make him park the car outside the garage so he doesn't have to make the super, super noisy garage wake me up in the morning. All of these great things because I don't sleep anyway. So I am looking forward to being able to sleep again <laughs> and wake up refreshed and not be so dark under the eyes. But what do we do when our energy is low? Do we give up? Do we fill it with sugar? I have had three cups of coffee today, three espressos today, so that's kind of nice. But what I also felt I needed to do was um, after I had done a piece of work, so I had a couple of calls, um, I would take myself out of the office and go do something physical. So I've been pottering around the garden a bit today as I was trying to help manage my, my energy. It, it probably would have served me really well to go for a walk or do some yoga or get angry with some weeds outside. But you know what? Like, yeah, I didn't. I potted and enjoyed the sunshine and laughed at the dog next door because it's got a really strange bark. So, uh, poor puppy dog, I know. <sighs> so, uncovering more band-aids in the business is awesome. Cleaning out all the junk underneath the band-aid, great. Having somebody to help you do that, phenomenal. So grateful. Wouldn't want to be doing this on my own. Well, let's face it, I wouldn't do it on my own, would I? Which means I'd keep a lid on my business and I wouldn't become the success that I want to have, uh, be, wouldn't become the success I want to become, wouldn't have the things I want to have, and wouldn't be the person I wanted to be. So we can't do this sort of stuff, this business building stuff on our own all the time. But I guess one of the things that's become incredibly apparent to me of late is how much information is around again. And how I think we're all starting to struggle with knowing what information to leave alone. And when something feels like a good idea, but isn't the right time. And how do you leave that alone and let go of your FOMO and being able to be really focused on what are the things that I need to do now to get me to where I want to go and being prepared to say, that super awesome course or starting that brand new program or one person has made a noise about some other product you could develop actually having the self-respect to say that's a great idea but it's not for now or not yet and i was just chatting to the awesome nicola uh, whom i love and adore and you all know that and we were talking about the fact that we're just really focusing on what is it that needs to be done? What do we need to do and who do we need to be speaking to and how do we need to be focusing on, on the things in the business? Now, our businesses are very different. Um, the execution of our work is really different, but there are some similarities in, in terms of we both like new things. We both, you know, when, when we're flat or feeling a little tired, we want to be with people except me. She wants that a lot more than I do. Sometimes I get really flat and really tired and I just want to go to sleep under a table somewhere. So it's important that we can uh, support each other because we know that about each other, but also pull each other into line. So I was really honest with her today and say, I've had these three opportunities come to me last week and i had been telling myself that they were all aligned with all the business goals that I have and that they're the right time and the right thing for now. And I could, I could sense that she was sitting there chuckling going, you know, you're deceiving yourself on one out of the three. And I'm like, really? Yeah. I heard myself say it and then I went, wow, okay, maybe that one doesn't need as much time and energy. <sighs> I'm a work in progress. 
Don't we love the fact that we're all just a work in progress? No, we don't. Who wants to be finished? Me, pick me, I want to be finished. <laughs> all right, that's enough for today. I'm tired. I'm going to go an adult for a moment <laughs> and then probably put myself to bed around the same time as the three-year-olds. So this is Private Practice and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.